Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and if you go to any marina anywhere, you'll see that all the boats have one problem in common, dirty bottoms and how to keep them clean. There are several solutions on how to attack this problem, and one of them is to put your boat in a rack storage area, but that's not always practical. Another solution, get your boat hauled out and then power washed, a lot of expense there. Another solution is to send a diver down and clean your boat by hand, but that's not always practical. In some places, it's not even allowed. All of the boats in this marina get their bottoms cleaned every two weeks when they're in the water. It's warm water, a warm climate, they need it done on a regular basis. Well now there's an alternative. It uses ultrasonic technology to keep your bottom clean and it's called Hull Shield. Let's look over this system. Hull Shield sends out ultrasonic sound waves every 120 milliseconds that circumnavigate the entire hull in a space of only a few microns out of the boat's entire surface below the waterline. The pulsing sound waves create positive and negative pressure on the surface of the hull, pushing and pulling the organisms much like a speaker vibrates in and out, and this movement keeps them from attaching to the surface. As can be seen here, different frequencies affect different bioorganisms. The hull shield system is elegant in its simplicity. All of the components are right here. It starts with an ultrasonic transducer that gets attached to the inside of your hull. That, in turn, gets attached to a simple extension cord, which gets plugged into the control box, and this, in turn, gets fed into the boat's 12 or 24 volt system. That's it. It can all be done by the end user. I look straight down, I can see one transducer, a wire going to the control box that's mounted to the inboard side. There's another wire coming out of that, leading forward to another transducer, and then that is connected to the vessel's electrical system. All of it Right here, easy to see and easy to accomplish. Ultrasonic anti-fouling is not a new concept. The U.S. Navy first discovered it in the 1950s during sonar testing with submarines. It was found that hull growth was far less prevalent around the sonar tubes than on the rest of the hull. Further scientific and technological research revealed that the ultrasonic waves could keep entire hull bottoms clean from fouling. Professional Mariner, the Journal of the Maritime Industry, reports that ultrasound technology has been employed internationally from Europe to Australia, Japan, Thailand, Chile, and the Caribbean, and implemented on commercial, military, and recreational vessels. More recently, these systems have caught up with yacht owners in North America, including the majority of the Aquila fleet at Marine Max Marina in St. Petersburg. Now, there are five different versions of Hull Shield, the HS-50, 75 and the 100 and the DS50 and 100 hull shield and drive shield technology. Now the HS50 works for boat hulls up to 32 feet. You go to the 100 going up to 48 feet. Now why is there a separate system for the drive systems? Because things like your motor mounts uh, 5200 that breaks a bond between the running gear and the hull, all of that will interrupt the ultrasonic sound from getting to those systems. So simply attach one to your engine and now you've got the engine, the running gear, the outdrives, all of that covered. Hull Shield works on fiberglass, aluminum and steel hulls, power and sail, and on virtually anything except wood. Okay, so talk is cheap. I need to see proof. This boat that's coming in right now, we're gonna get it hauled out. It's had Hull Shield on it for the last year without being hauled, without being cleaned, in a yard where everybody's getting cleaned every two weeks. So let's see what it looks like as we get it out of the water. Okay, for starters, I mean, look at this. Fresh out of the water, and this is clean. I mean, that's just effects of bottom paint right there. No scum line, no debris anywhere. This is just remarkable. Nothing. I expected even to see a little bit of slime, but I'm not even getting that. The inside of the hull, I mean, not even scum on it, nothing. I was expecting results, but I wasn't expecting these results, honestly. Even if we were trying to play a camera trick and there were barnacles when we pulled this out and we scraped them off, you would see little halos of it because you can never get those things completely off unless you sand the hull. None of that is going on here, so there's no camera trickery. This is fresh out of the water. 
Now, as I come around the stern, all right, well, this is revealing. This is an underwater light. Look at this. So why does this have growth on it? Because there's 5200 behind it. It's blocking the ultrasonic sound from getting to this. So the hull, clean, the light that gets blocked from the ultrasonic because of the 5200, that's got growth on it. That's the same thing that I was talking about earlier with the engine. If you've got motor mounts that are gonna prevent that sound from getting to the engine, you're gonna get growth on things like the engine mounts, the running gear. That's why you need another unit on the engine itself. You can see the backing right here that's blocking the sound from coming to this plate. So all this has growth on it. Look at the zinc. It's insulated from the sound getting through the hull. So that's why we've got growth. Here's another running light. Look at all the barnacles. Look at all the growth on it. And it's all fresh. Look at it. Now I'm the resident skeptic at boat test. So as I do, I had some concerns. Let's go over some of them. And the first one is power consumption. This needs to be on 24 seven. So it's obviously causing a drain on the batteries. So you're going to need to be on either trickle charge or hooked up to shore power overnight, which most of us are anyway. If you're not hooked up, then if it drains the batteries to the 50% point, it automatically shuts itself down. Second one was through hulls. There are none. There is no drilling required except for the screws that you want to attach the control box to. The transducers are attached to the hull with marine weld. That's it. Anybody who installs zincs over and over again on their boat is concerned with electrolysis, and I was concerned with this. Is there an issue with electrolysis? And the answer is no. This emits sound, not electricity. So there's no electrolysis problem. So what about bottom paint? Do I still need to put bottom paint on my boat? Yes, you do. Hull Shield works in conjunction with the bottom paint. Hull Shield will repel anything from coming onto the bottom paint. It won't clean the bottom. So you need to have a clean bottom to start with and add the protection of bottom paint. What you're not going to be doing, however, is paying somebody to scrub the bottom and clean that bottom paint off, or even worse, power spray it and get rid of the bottom paint that you just paid to have installed. Now we're talking a lot about ultrasonic technology. Is that something that I'm gonna be hearing? Is it gonna keep me awake at night? Is it gonna bother my dog on board? The answer to all three of those questions is no. Ultrasonic technology is beyond the realm of human hearing and animals. What about marine mammals, whales, dolphins? Are they gonna be affected by this? And that answer is no. They transmit their signals at a much lower frequency so that they get long distance out of it. Hull Shield works on a much higher frequency and they are unaffected by it. What about cold water, warm water, fresh water? Is there a difference? And the answer is any boat that is subject to fouling will benefit from this system. And it doesn't matter whether the temperature is warm, cold, salt water, fresh water. Now the benefits of Hull Shield are numerous, but let's go over some of the more popular ones. First of all, your boat's gonna run a lot more efficiently, so you're gonna save on fuel. That's big right there. Secondly, you're not gonna be hauling your boat out, paying a diver, having to clean the bottom of the boat over and over again, like I said, every two weeks for the boats in this marina. In fact, we calculated that putting Hull Shield on a boat in this location will pay for itself inside as little as eight months. What about warranty issues? Well, Hull Shield will warranty this product for two years. Now that's on paper. I have spoken to a lot of owners that have Hull Shield installed in their boat, and they said that they had problems after three years, four years, and Hull Shield still stood by the product and warrantied it. Now, what were those problems? Simple ones like water getting into the connections over a four year period, things along those lines. Things can only stay waterproof for so long. The point being, Hull Shield will stand by its product. Fourth, the boat will go faster almost all of the time. Even a thin layer of slime on your bottom, which can build up after a few days, will slow a boat as much as two knots, depending on its length. Further, a hard surface bonnet paint can be used, which is faster than an ablative paint, which is not so smooth. Fifth, it's not toxic, and it allows you to use a copper-free bonnet paint, which is better for the environment. Sixth, with the drive shield products hooked up to the running gear, stern drive, or bow thruster, the drivetrain can be kept clean without costly special metal paint products. And finally, Hull Shield is the only sonic anti-fouling system made in the U.S. That means the questions can be answered expertly in real time, and factory personnel are always available to help with installations and service. Now, you're probably wondering, if this product is so good, why isn't it on every boat, and why don't marinas, boat yards, and boat dealers recommend it? Well, the answer is that a lot of people hate ultrasonic anti-fouling systems made by any brand because it jeopardizes their cash flow. Who are the haters? Well, certainly the divers that get paid every two weeks to clean the bottom, the boat haulers that get paid to haul the boat out and then pressure wash it, the 
bonnet paint manufacturers who are going to be selling you bonnet paint every year typically and certainly the barnacles now who are the lovers every single boat owner that has this product installed especially the ones that i've spoken to and that's my full review of hull shield for boattest.com i'm captain steve we'll see you on the water